this is the development 2 video if you watch the development 3 video you will hear me refer to it as development 2 because I made a few mistakes in which order I was going through the textbook in this video we're going to talk about creating a cylinder if I look at a cylinder like this right here I've gone ahead and constructed the cylinder this one's hollow it doesn't have a top or a bottom but when we think about a cylinder the distance around the outside edge there is just our circumference. If we lay it flat, we can go ahead and see that it is just a rectangle. The height of the rectangle is going to be the height of our cylinder, and the width of the rectangle is once again our circumference. So when I go to create my drawing for my cylinder, if I go into model space here, I can delete off that drawing. Once again, I'll start by creating my top view. So the diameter for the top of this is one and three quarters. So I can hit diameter. I'm going to come down my one inch. So if I want to, I can just measure down the one inch here. I like to have the edge of it. The height of this object is two inches and once again we can track down our width. In the textbook they will talk about drawing lines or dividing the circle into lines. That's great for some more complex problems. So for example if you look at the development drawings in the DE3 folder that you'll see later in the list, there's several where we start to add items to a cylinder. So for example if we want to make a piece of pipe, something like that, then we need the circle divided. Just to start with, we do not need that circle divided because this is just a rectangle as I demonstrated. So I'm tracking over my one inch. I'm drawing up my two inches. Now we can calculate the circumference of the circle, pi uh, two pi r, or I can double click on the circle here. And it tells me that the circumference is 5.4978. So I could just come into my drawing 5.4978 and draw my line over. I could track this over and line it up there. And right there should be the flat pattern version of my circle. Once again, I just double clicked on the circle, 5.4978. And that one should be the same length, 5.4978. Then we do need a tab where it's going to wrap around and connect to itself. So I'm going to offset my quarter inch and put a tab on this end. In the text, they also go ahead and put a top and bottom circle on it. They do not give us any tabs. Go ahead and touch, attach those, attach those, because that might be kind of difficult. If we were doing something where we wanted to top and a bottom to it, we could form it like a can. It forms the development. Or we could go ahead and do a weld of some sort or a braid. So right here would be what that development number two looks like. Once again, I could put it in my title block, print it off, fold it, wrap it around, attach everything together. Keep in mind that if you watch development three, it will refer to it as development two as I made that mistake going through the textbook. 